In the history of Chinese military aviation, Chengdu J-10C, or known as Vigorous Dragon, is China's effort to develop a fighter aircraft that can match Western aircraft in terms of performance or capability. The development of J-10 started in 1988, with the goal of facing the threats posed by fourth-generation Soviet Union fighter aircraft, including MiG-29 and Su-27. Initially, J-10 was designed as an air superiority aircraft for the People's Liberation Army Air Force, but the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 changed its role to a versatile aircraft produced by Chengdu Aircraft Corporation. Vigorous Dragon made its maiden flight in 1998 and began operations with the PLA Air Force in 2004. This single-engine aircraft is capable of operating in all weather conditions and has a delta wing and canard design that sets it apart from the Russian MiG-29 or the US F-16. Its design is reminiscent of the Mirage series from France, but unlike the Mirage, J-10 has two canards behind the cockpit, enhancing its maneuverability. Equipped with fly-by-wire controls, Although primarily designed for air combat, J-10 can also carry out attack missions. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss updates on military videos and other interesting technology developments. Although considered a step forward for China's military aviation capabilities, Beijing still lacks the technology to build their own advanced jet engines. Therefore, J-10 uses a unique air intake that leads to Russian-made engines, namely the AL-31 originally designed for the Russian Su-27. However, J-10 operates only one unit of these Russian engines. Currently, photos shared on social media on February 15th showed two J-10C Pakistan Air Force aircraft equipped with Chinese-made WS-1B Tianjin turbofan engines undergoing flight tests at an undisclosed location. Pakistan added Chinese-made J-10C fighter aircraft to its fleet in March 2022 to enhance the country's combat capabilities. J-10C has a larger ASA radar compared to the Pakistan Air Force's JF-17 Block III. Equipped with 11 external attachment points, including five on the fuselage, a pair on each side, and three on each wing, J-10C can carry various air-to-air -air missiles, laser-guided bombs, free-fall bombs, or pods with 90mm unguided rockets. The aircraft is also equipped with a single 23mm caliber cannon and infrared and laser target designation pods. J-10C is designed to support the deployment of laser-guided weapons and satellite navigation. The aircraft uses a domestically made pulsed Doppler radar control system capable of tracking 10 targets simultaneously and engaging four of them. With an estimated production of 468 units of J-10 Vigorous Dragon, including the J-10C variant, with upgraded avionics and better jet engines, this aircraft can also carry advanced air-to-air -air missiles, such as the long-range PL-15. Although the actual combat performance of this aircraft is still debated, China has moved further with a focus on the more advanced J-11 aircraft. With a focus on developing more advanced aircraft, 
Vigorous Dragon may be kept as a reserve player until it is truly needed in combat. Since the project began in 1988, China has demonstrated its commitment and technological prowess in producing aircraft capable of competing with Western aircraft. The maiden flight in 1998 and the operation by the PLA Air Force in 2004 marked a historic milestone in China's military technology mastery. The innovative design of J-10C, with its delta wing and canard, reflects China's efforts to achieve high maneuverability. Pakistan's involvement in integrating J-10C into its air force also reflects international recognition of the sophistication of this aircraft. With ASA radar, the ability to carry various weapons and other advanced technologies, J-10C becomes a valuable asset in regional defense and security. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss updates on military videos and other interesting technology developments. If you have interesting ideas about the military to discuss, please write them in the comments section below and we will discuss them as soon as possible.